Oh, that was sudden. This person is not breathing? So tech, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. What? Ah, the corruption. That like red corruption is spreading across my body. Both of my ears are red and one of my hands. What? The recital. <laughs> ah! I'm the one leaving bloody footsteps? Uh, I'm guessing I should stay away from that. Oh, I don't look so good. Should we see what this is? Where to go? We might be able to talk to it. Oh, I'm sorry, chat in advance. I'm really sorry if this ends up being something bad. I got I got to find out though. Okay, I can't interact with it. Is this one of these endlessly looping hellscapes? Of course it is. There it is. He shattered his violin? Why? <laughs> Whoa, what? Basil saw something. Were they arguing? It almost looks like Mary's yelling at him. Well, one of my eyes is red and my body looks completely corrupted. Oh my god, they were fighting! Omori killed his sister. He killed his sister on- it was an accident. I suspect... He killed his sister... And they hung her body to make it look like an accident? Or they, 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 they faked her suicide? Do you want to screw in the light bulb?
this room. I remember this. We're all corrupted. Nope, get out of that chair. He pushed her down the stairs. Oh, he was 10 years old. No. Yes. God. How was Basil there, though? Was was Basil spending the night? So the violin got shattered somehow? Who destroyed... Did Omori destroy his violin because he was frustrated? Like, he, he didn't want to do the recital? Or did Mary throw it? So something happened, they got in enough of an argument that somehow the violin ended up shattered at the bottom of the stairs. The two of them start arguing, they start tussling, Omori, hopefully by accident, pushes his sister down the stairs, he comes downstairs, the two of them take the sister back upstairs, put her to bed. It was an accident. Look at Amori. It was an accident. They put her back into bed. Omori realizes that she's died. Basil... Basil gets a hold of Omori... And tells him... Let's make it look like she killed herself. So you don't get in trouble. Is that why... Is that why Mori's angry at him? Because Basil tried to protect him? Because they were kids? Like, it was an accident. But they're just kids. But why does he hate him so much, then? Because Omori wanted to be, like, held accountable? Omori hates himself so much that he thinks he should be punished? And therefore, by expansion, Basil should be punished? Or have the two of them just degraded so much from hiding this secret together? Uh, 
Oh, it's... I don't, I don't think he hate, you know, I don't think he hates Basil. I don't think he hates Basil because of what Basil did. I think in his memory, the reason his, that Omori character is so violent towards Basil is because Basil is the reminder of what happened. It's not that Basil did something explicitly. It's that Basil and Amori are the only two people who know. And so whenever Amori would see Basil, even in his dreams, it would still remind him. Oh, God. One more picture. Oh, God. So Mary didn't kill herself. It was just... Just a horrible accident. That's what the creature is. That's what something is. Something, the shape of something is the shape of... It's the shape of Mary's body hanging from the noose. That's what that thing is. Amori didn't even like the violin. He didn't. The only reason he even practiced violin is so he could spend more time with his sister. Omori was so fond of his sister, so drawn to her that there's literally a whole thing about how Omori is starting to do things to try and spend more time with her because she's spending more time studying and practicing. So as... Omori is trying to spend more time with Mary. He picks up hobbies not really super interested in. They're supposed to go for a recital. Mary, we have, we know Mary was practicing her ass off, trying to be perfectionist at this recital to the extent that when she was having, when she made a mistake and Basil took a picture of her, she was really embarrassed. And then it seems like, well, I guess the stress of it just got too much to them. Like it caused a rift where Omori wasn't maybe to Mary's standards or uh, maybe Omori just got frustrated. He destroys the violin by throwing it down the stairs Mary gets angry with Amori for destroying the violin because Amori was just, the stress was getting to him. So, because here, Mary is obviously chewing out Amori. Like, from her stance, you can tell that she's yelling, she's pointing at the violin. And then, I guess it just gets to him. They start tussling. Why were they tussling? Was he just... Was Amori just lashing out because she was yelling at him? Completely by accident, he... he as they're... They're tussling, he pushes her. She falls down the stairs. Lands at the bottom. 
presumably is very wounded, mortally wounded, or killed on impact. We don't know for sure. Omori comes downstairs. Mary doesn't respond. I'm assuming she's dead on impact. Omori and Basil take Mary back upstairs. Carrying her. They put Mary into her bed, hoping that she'll be okay. Omori realizes his sister's dead. Mary's dead. Basil realizing the situation. Omori murdered his own sister. Who he loved. Basil gets a hold of Omori and tells him that he's got to snap out of it. Don't panic. We'll make everything okay. We'll make this go away. We'll make it okay. They take Mary back downstairs. Basil opens the door. He opens the screen door. That's why we can see his reflection. Because he's opening the screen door to the backyard. So he opens the screen door. They take Mary out to the tree by the toy chest. They find a good branch. They use a jump rope, make a noose, and hang her corpse. Because her neck snapped. Because, because Mary's neck snapped, it looked convincingly like she hung herself. Ooh. Ah! That was not a picture I put in there. And that's where the image is from. Jesus Christ! That's what the image is. The image of something, the reason he has the eye, is because Omori could see Mary's eye when she died. Because when people die, their, their eyes don't actually close. You have to do that manually. So the image of Mary hanging from a noose one of her oh hey big girl are you coming to check in on everybody hold on chloe chloe's here for emotional support chat let's take a breather let's take a breather chloe emotional support chloe has arrived the big girl has arrived you know, it's funny, because she's, she's yellow. The green screen kind of interacts with her a little bit. And if you'll notice, her head is, like, kind of spacing through. And the reason is because Chloe's been actually been getting into the flowers. Because there there's a bunny den back there with baby bunnies, which Chloe hasn't found them. But she's gotten close. But the flowers are throwing her off, and she's old. So her face is covered in... She's got pollen here on her fur. Which is, like, bright yellow, greenish. So it's making her face all... Goofy with the green screen interaction. Hi, princess. Hi, princess. You come to check in on everybody? That was very nice of you. Sweet girl. Hold on a second, chat. I gotta shut the door. What are you doing, big girl? What are you doing, big girl? Thank you for... Thank you for coming upstairs. It was, it's nice to see you. You gonna lay down? Hey, come here. Yeah. Lay down. You gonna lay down next to me for a bit? All right. I'm gonna put this green screen on your back, okay? Okay. So that's what... So we know everything now, chat. We know just about everything. So the reason... The reason Omori is ter- Oh my god, dude! Thick the reason Omori is terrified of the stairs is because that's where he killed his sister! That's the first monster we see, the fear- that- that- that fear of the stairs! And the darkness at the bottom of the stairs? It's because that's where his sister- that's how his sister died. And that- and the- the main image of something being that kind of like- like the, the oval into all the little spikes is because that's what his sister looked like when when she was 
dead. And the eye, the eye in the center of it was literally Mary's eye because Omori could see her eye through her hair when she was hanging and it looked like she was looking at him. And that stayed with him. Because, I mean, I can't imagine anything more horrific. I cannot think of a more terrifying imagery than someone you love being dead and them that corpse looking at you. Ugh, man. The Basils were from... The pictures were from Basil's point of view? Yeah, Basil saw it too. That's why they both can see it. Alright, Basil. We know the truth. We know... Do you want to save Basil? Of course I want to save Basil! He was... Basil was trying to do the right thing. A 12-year-old child tried to help out a 10-year-old child. There he is. Come on, Basil. It's time to end this. Ah, uh, Sotek, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's, it's so good to see you. Oh, ah, uh, that's why Basil blacked out all the photos in the photo album. And why Basil was so scared to talk to everybody. To anybody. Because he's been holding this secret for Omori this entire time. You going to bed, big girl? Okay, good night. It came to you on that day. The day Mary died. When Mary... When Mary fell, you... You couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? What? Wait. Is Basil... Oh, God. Has Basil not... Hold on, let's see where this goes. You're a good person, Sotek. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. Basil thinks a monster did it. Basil hasn't made... Basil hasn't made truth with what happened. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sotek. That's so mean. Ah, uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sotek? There's no way out of this, is there? Don't you run away! Oh! Hold on. He's here. Also, Basil just moved really, really fast. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. Good boy. No. 
You wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sotek. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure I have left you consistently over the last four years. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah! There it is now! Do you see it? Stay away! Stay away from Sotek! I'll protect you no matter what, Sotek. You can count on me. When something killed Mary, when something ruined all my photos, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Omori did it. Omori took all the pictures. Oh! Omori's the one that blacked it out. Omori stole Basil's photo album and blacked out all the photos. Basil didn't do it. Omori did. Omori has been torturing Basil this entire time. Not, not necessarily intentionally, but Basil refused to believe that Omori was responsible for Omori's actions. So Basil has been blaming everything on a supernatural entity called something. Which in reality is just Omori. This entire time. I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sotek. Sotek. Sotek wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sotek. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Oh, jeez. Wait! Ah, is something... I'm assuming something's just a metaphor, and it's not real, but... It kind of looks a little real right now. Sotek, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything. Oh, shit! Is going to be okay. That's what Basil told us when we moved Mary's body outside. He told us everything's going to be okay. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm not entirely convinced that something isn't real. Calm down. Let's get rid of that afraid status. <sighs> oh gosh. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. We are not running! Focus. Come on, kid. Come on, kid! I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Basil reaches inside Sotek. You take three damage. You want to run. Persist! Sotek? There's no way out of this, is there? <sighs> you tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. Ah! Uh, we're gonna attack, I guess? I don't have any other skills. I can't attack anything but Basil. Oh, don't kill him. Please, God, don't kill him. Tell me, Sotek. Am I selfish for doing this? 